Okay, this is all the land that we used to chop and pick cotton. Yeah, I hope you didn't run all these little nails. This is the bridge we went. This is a another view of where we used to pick cotton and chop cotton. It's all changed, not the same. This is my sister fishing in their catfish lake. That's my dad and mom fishing with my rod and reel. This is my sister on May the 29th, 1990, trying to beat her sister. Her sister's already caught about eight great big catfish. How many fish have you caught, Shelter? Ten. Shelter. Shelter. How many have you caught? <laughs> How many have I caught? Seven or eight. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's recording now. What do you do to stop it? Huh? What do I do to stop it? Just push the button again. Yeah. See all these fish? <laughs> this is how many I caught this afternoon, Shelter. Get a What's good that? picture. Turn them around. Turn them around. Turn them around. Come all around. Two, four, six, seven big catfish. My sister caught none. <laughs> okay, these still are the fish that Kay caught. She always still Maybe. caught none. About how many fit pounds is it? Oh, about 20. 20 pounds of catfish in about one hour the, on May the, the 29th, 1990 out of, out of the Maxwell Catfish Lake. I'll show a picture of the Catfish Lake. I'll also zoom in on my sister that didn't catch yeah, any. You have to pay a dollar a pound. <laughs> They're a dollar a pound for all you catch. Oh. Okay, these are still the fish that Kay caught and Shella didn't catch it. But it's so many, I gotta let her help me hold them. There's 20 Sorry, pounds. Sorry. <laughs> oh, well, it's two, four, six. Six good fish. Ah. <laughs> There's the day we caught the fish. There's Billy Wayne cleaning the fish, dressing them. Shelter's helping him. Hey, no, I'm not sharp now, are you? Billy Wayne, how long does it take you to clean one? I'll get them all ready first. I know. Oh, Somebody just got eggs in it. Hey. Well, that's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah. Here comes the slow folk. Get Missy coming first. Here comes the slow folk. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to use the axe for, to tell the truth. <laughs> but they want an axe. Okay, get, get them. I already got them. I already got them. Where's the other one? Here, Missy, come on. Come on, Missy. My sister and her two babies. She's That's got dog, you coming yeah. all the way down That's the dog, yeah, with a hay. You bring that stuff. I need shelter. Shelter, can you pick up shelter? Today is May the 30th, and we're cooking the seven fish that I caught yesterday. This is a close up of it. She's got the big head about it. This is my mother. She cooks very good catfish. There's a lady that didn't catch any yesterday. 
Okay, this is still May the 30th, 1990. This is the picture of the fish. This is still the picture of the person that caught none. And this is a picture, this of, the is the picture of the lady that cooked it. This is the picture of the man that dressed there you it. Go. Good. <laughs> yeah, you getting a good massage? This is Mama. She's got on a new outfit. And this is Daddy. We're fixing to go to Walmart on May the 31st, 1990. They think they're looking good. Daddy, you got your money with you? Yep. Alrighty. Ready to go, Mom? Yes. My mother making my bonnet on June the 1st, 1990. That's my grandmother, Uni Meredith, on June the 1st, 1990. 1990. 1990. This is my sister that didn't catch any fish the other day. Now she's praying that she'll catch some fish. This is my brother-in-law that took all the fish off of the hook and took all the bait on the hook. Then he cleaned the fish, then he helped eat it. And there's my dad and Charles that's doing nothing. Thanks, Billy Wayne. That's doing nothing. Thanks, Billy Wayne. That says 1038 Hudson. That's where Charles and I live in December of 1965. Our second apartment. Today is June the 4th, 1990, and Charles and I have been married 25 years. And we just drove back over, and this is where we rented our first unfurnished apartment. <laughs>
Avenue. French Quarters is where we stay in our 25th anniversary. Today is June the 5th, 1990. Move up. Giddy up. Lydia, move up. Okay, wait, we got a couple more riders, Dan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I got, I got you need to be on the ground. I'll get out. Okay, well, okay. Get on the ground now. I got it. Here's Kay on the big elephant. The big elephant. She don't have any. I'm holding on to you, Tiffany. Okay. You'll wave? Wait. <laughs> Look at the elephant. Wave. Feel like you're in the Indiana Jones? Yeah. <laughs> Jerry's going to be jealous. Did you have a good time? Yeah. That's enough. Okay. Take one.
Did you, did you get it? Did you get it? Throw the bag up like that. Yeah. Huh? You get yeah. that. Uh, I think we. Right. Okay. Throw some food. I'm out of food. Oh. I can get some more. Golden Eagle. There's Charles right over there. Watching the Eagle. Here she is on the Flamingo Bridge. Notice how pretty the Flamingos are. The beautiful color. Sweeping around, and I'm gonna go around and get the polar bears. The polar bears. The bear exhibit at the zoo has really been improved. The bears have looked real old, but now they're bringing in some new bears, and it's really nice. in there. The other one's right there, peeping out. It's a girl. One to shoot. Born April 5th, 1990. Beaver. Right there, just born this year also. Not sure what this is. June the 5th, 1990, and this was Charles and Maya third apartment that we lived in on 1696 Town and Country. It's a one bedroom apartment and this is where we lived when Perry was born. Today is June the 5th, 1990 and this is the house we bought and this is the house that Jerry was born. This is our first home we owned. This is our little joy chalk. That was where Judy lived. We lived here for the Day is Be right there. Right on the D <laughs> Great state. Please don't hang up. Now here. This is where Judy lived. We lived here for the Today is December the 22nd, 1990. This is a picture of our Christmas tree. We're going to open our gifts a little early because Perry's leaving tomorrow. There's a centerpiece on the table. Dinner, getting ready to eat and open gifts. Merry Christmas. Big in my bathroom. All right, I'm fixing our Christmas dinner. I've got chicken and dressing in here cooking. I've got yams in here. I've got cheese sticks. I've got turkey gravy, Mississippi butter beans, cream corn, baked beans. I sliced the turkey. I've got the rolls over there. I've got jello for salad. I've got chocolate pie. I've got lots of candy made. It should be ready in about 15 minutes and we shall eat. This is a 
are one of, one of the things I got for Christmas. This is one of the things I got for Christmas early. It's a winter scenery tray, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to keep it. I got my mouse, my Santa Claus, my cookie jars over there. And Perry's talking on the telephone. And I smell the dressing and it smells delicious. Okay, you can cut it off so I can finish. Please. Here comes Dad. Jerry getting ready to open the gifts. Merry Christmas, Jerry. Merry Christmas, Perry. Merry Christmas, Mom. Jerry's been playing, practicing basketball. He looks great. Tell us what all his gifts are before he opens them. A pair of socks. A, a sterling silver little stamper with F on it. Jelly beans. I'm not sure what the other thing is on that. No, you got to tell us what it is. Uh, a clock. Sheets. A jar of candy. A sweatshirt. This little big one down here is his vision. This is another shirt. Okay, now and we'll, we'll go it. over this after a while and see how many you missed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's opening his big breakfast. <laughs> what is it, Jerry? Jerry opens his. Uh, Jerry, oh, what? Oh, look, I got a pair of socks. Well, what else is it? Oh, a check for $25,000. That's a check. Jerry, what you got? Thank you. A stuffed teddy bear. A stuffed teddy a bear. Jerry, there's a receipt in it. I told you you should have bought more last night. And you have to read the back. Open first. Oh, it's heavy. What is the picture for the wall? What does it say on the back? Read it out loud. Right here. Dollar. It says, to Charles, Merry Christmas. Why don't you just pay attention? Merry Christmas, 1990. Following. It's along the Blue Ridge. Along the Blue Ridge, Robert Tuckwiler. On exit. Okay, he reads right. <laughs> oh, it's paying better than his writing. On the east side of I. Open the Oh, Mommy, it's just getting in the Open the gift. We ain't got all day. Now show it to the camera. Yeah. Well, won't you be happy with what you got? You're so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Okay, yeah, Mom opened one. And Tuck Water signed the back. Mom opened one. He was there. I got him to sign the back. Where was he at? At the Blue Ridge Framing Shop. Open the one for me and get it over with. Okay, this one. It's breakable, so be careful with it. It's breakable. It is breakable. I'm just saying that. That's why I signed the back. So he said that's almost an original. Mommy, it's breakable. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know what this is. This is a, I can tell right now it's a pig. <laughs> Mommy, it's two pieces. <laughs> Mommy, just tell me what it is. It's, a jar. it's not. That's two pieces. Okay. It's a teapot that, uh, oh, Lord, what have mercy. I don't believe this. What is it? Put the lid on right there. It's a man and woman dancing, dancing teapot. Dancing teapot. Now, isn't that pretty? <laughs> that is neat. Now, cut it off. <laughs> Let's get some excitement. Wow, Dad. This is from Grandma and Granddaddy. Or my mom and daddy. And it is a quilt. Oh, how she pretty. She gets it being a quilt. She's pretty smart. Oh, uh, isn't that pretty? That is Nice to all of us. That is really pretty. I bet it's all 50 states. Now that is It goes beautiful. on my bed. No, it doesn't need I'm going to make it extra out of this in Perry's room. What is that? Oh, Christmas something. Oh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> that was like something my daddy made. The Christmas decorating. Oh, this is just stuffing for Grandma with it. This must be nice. You go camera, they don't feel really bad when they eat you. Oh, what? <laughs> I can tell right now. <laughs> 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 it's bad, right? <laughs> oh, is it safe?
that shirt. Pay that shirt. Okay, I'll put all this in here. Is this camera still on? <laughs> no, no. What does that say anyway? Maybe that's for you, Charlie. Candy cane. It's probably a joke. Okay. This is the one I said was a shirt. Okay. Mom says I'm wrong. What is it, Jerry? Ultimate health. Oh, it's not even close. <laughs> what is it, Jared Perry? A draft. <laughs> what am I going to do with this? <laughs> what are you going to do with the shirt? <laughs> Jared, what are you going to do with your You're CB? Like you. you don't like your giraffe. I like my giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> is that the CB, really? Y'all going to start me collecting these now? Yeah. Okay. I got this one right. It's sheets. Where did you get this? What is it, Jerry? Uh, Lowe's. Is that a good one? you like it? I don't know why you didn't buy that Pioneer over there. They didn't have any more. I'm going to open this one. This one's from Jerry. Oh, there was a million of them. Well, you can take that one back and exchange it. I'm going to open this one. This one's from Jerry, my brother. Too. What is it? I didn't get what? this one. What? Well, Sparks? Is that what it is? That would cost $149. Oh, I like these. It did not right there was the price, Dad. Yeah, that's how much he puts on it. He went down to 149 Hey, what is the it? The one over at Brenham's was 139 I guess this wonderful... Personally, autographed picture from Robert E. Tuckwiler, who is a professional artist whose rising popularity is standing action. A claim that a realist is worth respecting. What else did I you get, Charles? From Jerry. We can't even see you, Charles. I got a hair dryer. Uh, I got a hair dryer from Jerry. A ton of candy from Perry. Got that thing must have cost a fortune. And I like this kind of candy. All right. All right. Speed it on. And a, a, a flea market book from Perry. Where'd it go? On the floor. On the floor right? on this side. I'll right. just right. zoom in, in on it. In I'll zoom in on, on it under your side. feet. There it is. You're such a pokey woke. The flea market handbook. Okay. And we got this camera, 35 millimeter camera from. And we got a radio Jerry. together from Jerry. Yeah. Right there's our radio. We got it together. Mom and Daddy gave us a quilt together. I got these beautiful designer sheets from Mom and Dad from Santa. I know the beans that, from Jerry. I like that something. Slippers. I'm on the tape now. You just wait. No. <laughs> Slippers from Jerry. Sock slippers. Sheets from Santa. Or uh, actually socks. I guess these are. Got this giraffe right here. I don't know what <laughs> You got to put it on your mantle. I, I got this jar right here. And it was a little antique bottle inside. And it has Mississippi on it. I have Mississippi on the bottle. Got a check for 25000 from Mom and Dad. I set a visions. <laughs> now the pair of socks. And a Radford University shirt. You say what? What? And I think, oh, I got this thing right here that I like, really worn. It's F, sterling silver, little stamp. All right, what'd you get from Mama, uh, Grandmama? Grandma, I got a check, fifteen dollars, and I got fifteen dollars from that shower. I'm buying two pair of jeans with that money. Okay, two sons. Perry's the oldest and Jerry's the youngest. Perry's the biggest and Jerry's and Perry's the littlest. <laughs> Perry, Jerry's got the brains. Who's Perry's got, got <laughs> Jerry's got the brains and Perry's got the know-how. <laughs> I think it's the other way around. No, I got know-how and the brains. Let me take another picture. <laughs> what you got, Jerry? <laughs> Did you know Jerry had his hands up like a behind your head? Did you? <laughs>